Let's take a look at how iframe code can be auto-generated inside of Trailblazer and then inserted into your web page. I'm going to begin by displaying a web page that is ready for an iframe but does not have it yet embedded. So this is just a blank donation page. There's nothing here to take donations yet. And you can see there's no scroll bar. I cannot scroll down any lower than what you see right here. What we are going to do is insert an iframe into this space right here. The way we do that is by going into Trailblazer, go to our System Manager, Settings, Website Configuration, and from here we have a bunch of tabs that we can go in and, and do some configuring of the tabs themselves, but what we, want, what we want to do is create the iframe code itself. The place to do that is up here, this iframe wizard. First I need to select which iframe it is that I want to place on my web page, and in my case it will be a donation. So I start there, and it's already showing me what uh, some of this is going to look like. That's the part that's going to be inserted. Next thing is, do I want to allow scrolling? Now, generally, I prefer to not have a scroll bar on there, but that it means that you have to make sure that you've got the right length, uh, or the height, if you will, of, of the iframe. So I'll set it to no, and then you may have to play with this number in order to find out if that fits for your page or not. The next thing is, do you want to redirect? And you probably should redirect. On, uh, if you choose to not redirect, no custom thank you, use Trailblazer's default, you can do that. It just It's not branded to your website, and so it may not look the way you'd want it to. So in my case, what I am going to do is say, yes, I am going to redirect the thank you page, and I want it to be outside of the iframe. What we're talking about is, a, is what we would call a landing page. So I'm going to enter that in. When I tell it that I am going to redirect outside the iframe, I also need to tell it the location of that landing page. Let's go get that. My landing page is going to look like this, so that when the person is finished with their donation, it'll come back and show them a page that looks like this. The link for that page is up here. I'll capture this into my clipboard. The link for this page is up here. I'll come up to here and copy. Pull this off come over to here and paste this in. I'd like to verify my redirect. One way of doing that, if your screen is a little scrunched like mine is, you may need to bring this part of your page up. And when you do that, you can then scroll through and see that, yes, indeed, when a person is, uh, com has completed their donation, they'll be redirected to this particular page. Now that we've configured the elements of our iframe on top, Let's take a look at what it's been creating here. This is the iframe code that will be pasted into your web page. Let's see how we might do that. I'm going to first copy that HTML, and all it does is puts that on your clipboard. I'm going to then go to my web page designer application. In my case, that happens to be Microsoft Expressions. In my case, I'm going to locate my placement. I'll go to right about there. I'll then paste in all of that code from the clipboard. I'll save. And now let's take a look at what my page looks like. So here's my raw page. I'm about to refresh this page. There it is. I, that was as quick as that. I've added my iframe in. Now my iframe does not happen to be long enough. And this is what I was referring to earlier where you may have to play with the length a little bit. So what I'll do is I'll go back to Trailblazer, and I'll change the length in here. I'm going to make it 1,500 pixels. Now, I could have done it directly inside here if I wanted to. Either way you want to do it works. I'll click, come back to my expressions. I'll replace this whole piece right there with the new one. Save it. Bring back my page refresh the page and now my donation button is available where it was not a moment ago. So in my case 1500 is the correct value to use in there. 